Hello, 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 and welcome to Bad Mouse Gaming. I'm your host, Dave, aka Bad Mouse, and we are back in my giveaway map. Um, before we get into this awesome video, though, let me remind everybody if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button down there. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think of this map and the changes I've done so far. Very little changes, though. And, um, hit that like button. Let's get in here. Let's check out the version 2. Alright, so a lot of you guys have seen me play around in this map when we're testing out some of the new stuff. And I basically, I save a copy of the original before we go through and do a bunch of testing and stuff. And then I reload that because this is the map that I have on my Discord server for download. You know, right here's the link again if you guys um, aren't sure where to go to get that. But once you uh, join my Discord server, you'll see right here my game saved under the community section. And you should be able to download it with a few instructions. But let me warn you, let me warn you, let me warn you, if you're not comfortable with moving files around on your computer system or are you not sure how to get to your saved files I wouldn't I wouldn't mess around and if you are kind of comfortable but not too sure just just copy your saved game to like your desktop or your documents so if something goes wrong you can delete the new one you put in there and resave all your old games back into its original folder but if you are very comfortable with moving files around and this is something you guys would like to have, feel free to go to my Discord and download this map. I do have a short instructions of where you can find your saved games at. But um, yeah, so let's check this out. So I got rid of a lot of these methane things. I got I'm down to two here because we have the auto crafting station. I did leave the auto crafting station where we craft everything video and um, it's still here. I got superfood being made here. We got um, honey right down here below. And then um, of course it's going to pull from the garden here. So not much has changed in here. This is all pretty much still the same. We have a couple biodomes. We have tree bark going that way. We got power down here in the cross members. And then we have another cross member there on the other side. So you should have plenty of power. I mean, this is a great map if you're wanting something completely filled out, but you don't want to take the time to do it yourself. I mean, by by far, this is not like a, a cheat the system map where you, you can just, I don't know. But technically, I haven't gone through any of the ships. Everything on this planet is pretty much untouched. Uh, even the warden's keys, none of them have been grabbed yet. I believe the secret room down there hasn't even been unlocked yet. So, yeah, everything on the planet is still fresh and brand new. I use mods pretty much to build everything here. So, you don't have to worry about any resources being taken from the planet. So, when you download this and install it, you still have all those resources. Alright, so. This was the research center. We have all our stuff in here for researching and stuff like that. And then over here, we got our workshop side. Doing a little bit of production, some crafting, some building. And then, you know, that's all the same going that way. Then we have all our foods over here. If we check out the teleporter here, you can see i got quite a few locations here set up. There's the automation station. It's the LIK crater, aluminum. Uh, the mystery box. Some of you guys still don't know about this mystery box. This is not something I've placed on this planet. This is the developers doing. I built a base out here next to it, but yeah. 
If you're wondering where we're at, we're at the very far corner of the map. This is as far as I can go before I hit the barrier. And, um, yeah, so we're at the very far corner. If you have an aerial view of this, let's see here. Let's get up a little higher. There we go. You see where my base is there at the corner. So we're right off of the crater here. The backside of the crater. That's where you want to go if you want to huff it yourself. But yes, we have this box. And the last time I looked, it was nothing but blueprints. Yep, oh, yep, still there. So, yeah, we got a whole box of blueprints out here at the corner of the map. Not sure what they're for, but... Run out there and grab them before they disappear, but they've been there for a while. So, if we look here, we also have, um... Uh, the big valley that gets you to the super alley. This will get you close to the warden sections. All the, the big doors you open in the mountain that drops down. Uh, we have a space base. As you can see, we are way up here. Up above the planet line, anyhow. Nice little view, huh? But you can expand off of this. You could build more platforms, more buildings, do all kinds of stuff up here. But, um, what you guys like to see me just see how long it takes to fall? Let's do it. This ought to be interesting. So this will give you a little bit of time to go down there and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Perfect time. Also, you can click the like button. Maybe even get in a comment here. Let me know what you guys are thinking at the moment. Like I said, you know, you get everything that you see in this map. You'll even get the um, golden crate as a craftable. Are you kidding? We're going to have a storm come at us at the same time. We're still above the storm line. Ain't that interesting? We're still falling. We're still falling. There's the waterfall over there. I cannot believe we're getting this pink cloud when we really want to see the view. So right there below us, that square pattern there, I can't get my cursor to it. But that's our cloud storage. Over there's where we got our automation. All these yellow markers are where all the original golden chests are. The only ones that's not in there is the new ones that's over there. That's in that temple with the golden butterflies. Over there's the mysterious box. Here is our cloud base. We might as well stop here and take a look at the um, cloud storage. While we're here. So we do have, you know, locker full of seeds. Um, these are kind of full, but not completely, I guess. But you do have plenty of seeds for more food growers if you want to grow more stuff. And I did start to fill in some of the butterfly stuff, but I'll leave that. I'll leave something for you guys to do. But um, yeah, these all still need to be filled up. And then I was going to fill all these up with all the different kinds of butterflies. So we have a couple. And yeah, these are ones I found laying around as I'm doing stuff. But look guys. Look. What's that say? Oh. You want to download this map just for that. And these ain't all you get. These ain't all you get. 
So if we head to the butterfly room. Now I've moved the butterfly room. It used to be over here on the back side of this hill. But I brought it forward some. And we kind of did a little bit of redesigning. The material work this time. And um, I think it looks good. Over here is our heaters. We got them lined up over there. I do have three on top of our building here. But I've cleaned up a lot of the planet. All the original ore extractors are still from the, the last time. Before we got this new one. So before we look at that. I want to remind everybody. This was our original test setup. So you still have these ore extractors. You can move somewhere else. Disable them and then rebuild them. Or you can leave them. I mean, you could probably add some pieces here and convert it into something. But yeah, and then we have this rocket here because some people weren't sure if my rocket was working, even though it was surrounded by buildings, it wasn't actually going into space. So we built a rocket there. So here is our new butterfly room. Look at all those golden butterflies up there. Ain't that beautiful. So once you go inside here. You see we got tier 2's and tier 1's here underneath. This was our way into this section here. That's bottom floors. Only way to go. Alright, so we have some empty lockers here for temporary storage of larvas, butterflies, whatnots. I started out with the lowest multipliers and it goes all the way around to the highest multiplier. And you have two more empty holes here. We still have fireflies up in there. We don't know what, what's up with that. So we got some stuff in here. We got some boards. A little lounging area back here. That's pretty much it for the butterfly room. But you know, all these are full. There's three in the three in the box and one in the frame. And then uh, these down here, I'm not sure. I think they're just whatever random butterflies I found that were pretty high in multipliers. And I just kind of stuck them in there for um oh. So I have even filled up these front ones. Not all of them anyhow. I think all the big ones are full though. So yeah, you have a couple butterfly farms here you need to fill in. Now, on to our production. I want to show you like all this algae here because that's going to come into play here when we explain some stuff over there. You'll see jump over there just check it out and see what's up with that we do have a teleporter going there and there it is all right so for the people that Wanted to know how I had this set up so it all worked out. I'm going to show you here real slow like what order I have everything in. So we got the fertilizer T2. Bioplastic. And all these are actually pretty full. Everything seems to be doing its thing. Now what's kind of weird is, is we can either make the alloy here or just mine it there. So it's kind of odd to have that option, but since we have that option, we went ahead and did it. A lot of good food there. 
Oh, yes. These next two, I'm kind of impressed with. I would have never thought we would have had that many batteries and stuff laying around. So that's what's nice is the ships haven't been explored yet. So, like the ring, that requires a battery. You got one right there. You don't even have to worry about trying to make it. Alright, so this one I kind of helped out a lot. We took algae from the lake base over there. And I was kind of just hand feeding it into the system until I just overloaded and it couldn't take no more. But it's, there's plenty of algae there for if you steal something. So that's the order of everything on the autocrafter side. So if you want to see the order of what we have over here. You see that my auto crafters stop one at two and a half from the end. And everything lines up, locked up. So we got methane and bees, methane and bees on each side of the stairs. Silicon. Um ura iridium. Uranium. <laughs> ah. Iridium. Sulfur, zeolite, osmium, titanium, and cobalt. And then straight across from that, we have silicon again, aluminum, iron, and then I don't know what happened here. But we have magnesium and a super alloy, or yeah, super alloy. So you can see this kind of lines up with the steps of my third platform. If you want to try to get this dead on perfect, I don't know. But then, you know, um, I just kind of like throw down as many of these as I could. I have a feeling like if you was to build your bridge out further here, you might be able to reach more of the algae and just have like um, your sample here being crafted like more out here, but still close enough to be reached by the mutagen and stuff like that. That's uh, something you guys can play around with, but I wanted to go over this little section here one more time so everybody could see exactly how I had that set up. Be crafting everything here. Auto crafting. Gotta love auto crafting. So yes, we are here at the ring base. Over there's the ring. We came straight across. Kind of in front of this weird rock here. I don't know if that's an actual crater if I died somewhere. But you can see how we have this horseshoe rock formation right here. And then I just kind of took over this little corner area here. Which seems to work out pretty good for me. And um, I really haven't had to like worry about the bees and the water taking over the methane and the honey. But you see like, or not water, but oxygen. But sometimes you have to do some maintenance though because... If the bee larvas take over, then that's it. It won't produce anymore until you clean up. And you might want to put down another locker because one or two of these require some larvas for crafting. And unless you're kind of hanging out here where larvas are spawning, that will never craft. So let's go check out what we did with the T5 drills. Or the heaters. Whichever one I find first. There's the waterfall. It go up a little bit. Alright, over here is the crater. Over here is where I placed a lot of the drills. I thought that was pretty cool. They're out of the way. But at the same time, we can still see them. We want to check them out. Alright, now for the heaters. 
The heaters I put over here at the pond. I decided to line them all up here on the rocks. You can't technically build up here, but using mods, I'm able to do things that most can't do. So, they're there. And they'll be there if you download the map. And you'll have a great view of those. And then we have three more up here. You can change them, delete them. You know, however you guys want to set this up. But if you guys have any ideas you'd like to see me implement into this map on the next versions. Leave some comments. Let me know what I should change. What I could do different. What you would like to have in your maps. But from that. I think that's pretty much it for all the changes. Um, like I said. Leave a comment. Let me know. Hit that thumbs up button. We'll see you guys next turn. Thanks for watching.